Imagine a world suddenly getting dangerously more divided. Imagine if even that bastion of stability, strength, and yes, moral leadership that is Angela Merkel's Germany can take a body blow from the far right for the first time since Hitler's Germany. And imagine that march of illiberal, intolerant, inherently racist demagoguery trampling across much of Europe these days. Now imagine not these fringe protest parties, but what's happening to the grand old party Party in America in the hands of Donald Trump's campaign. The world watches aghast the violence at his rallies, attacking protesters, shouting for them to be removed. Ready? Are you ready? Get them out of here! Get them out of here! Get the hell out of here! Bye. As for the protesters, there's also his inciting hatred of the media, all making a mockery of the democratic ideal. Indeed, one mocking tweet today asked, have they blamed protests on foreign meddling yet? Those who follow Mideast or Russia have seen this script before. Like Erdogan and Putin, Trump is still standing. Even after numerous U.S. allies, including all three living Mexican presidents, likened his tactics to Hitler's and Mussolini's, the worst monsters in modern history. In another era, those comparisons would surely have been a campaign killer. This time, it seems, every red line possible has been breached. And yet, enough voters in the land of the free, the home of the brave, enter the sanctity of that voting booth and make their choice. So what does that say about us? Recently anonymous, that infamous hacking organization has issued its call to arms after protest hacking websites from North Korea to Ferguson to ISIS, it's now taking on the Donald, saying that beginning April 1st, yep, April Fool's Day, it's declaring, quote, total war on his, quote, deeply disturbing campaign.